Hello, welcome to Jita Company. We are looking into probability. So, what do you mean by probability? So, an operation which can produce a well-defined outcome. That's called as experiment. Whereas, if we are not able to predict what could be the output, then it's the probability. So, what are the possible outputs? That's called probability. So, an experiment in which all possible outcomes are known and the exact output cannot be predicted and this is called random experiment. You are able to get a tossing a coin. That's your random experiment. Moving further, the typical examples are rolling a unbiased dice or tossing a coin or drawing a card from your playing cards or picking up a ball or something like that from a bag which may contain different colors. When you toss a coin, obviously you will get either a head or a tail. So a head or a tail. A dice is a solid cube having six faces which is marked 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. When we throw a die, the outcome is the number that appears on its upper face. This is a pack of 52 cards. You can see one color and the flower. This is artin, color and flower. It's artin. And you got your color and another flower. Another color and another flower. So these are the set of cards which is available in a pack. It's around 52 cards. Let's move on further on the cards. A pack of cards will be having 13 cards of each sort. You can see the spade. The spade is of 12 cards. We got the sample spaces head or a tail. If two coins are tossed, the sample space is Probably it may be head head, maybe head tail, tail head or it may be a tail tail. So in rolling a dice we got the probability like it can be 1 or it can be 2 or 3, 4, 5 or 6. So any subset of a sample space is called an event. If we talk about the probability of event which is given by probability of event is equal to number of possible outcomes and this one is the samples, number of samples. So your die is rolled and the probability of getting an even number is. So this is the question we need to identify the probability. You are able to understand the sample space S equal to the number of occurrences it can be 1 or 2 or 3 it can be 4 or 5 or 6 so 6 possibilities are there that's a sample space so it should be an even number in this one 2 4 and 6 are the even numbers so the expected is 2 4 6 that's equal to 3 the count is 3 so the probability of an event is equal to number of possibility satisfying the condition divided by the sample space which provides 3 divided by 6 which got we got 1 by 2 the probability is 1 by 2.